there was a human, just like you and me, who lived near a city surrounded by mountains. The human was studying to become a medicine man, to learn the knowledge of his ancestors, but he didn't completely agree with everything he was learning. In his heart, he felt there must be something more. One day, as he slept in a cave, he dreamed that he saw his own body sleeping. He came out of the cave on the night of a new moon. The sky was clear. Have you ever wondered if wishes really do come true? Well, they do. Well, they do. And well, Jiminy Cricket do. has seen it happen. <laughs> One starry night, Jiminy Cricket's travels took him to a tiny shop owned by Japan. Cricket's travels took him to a tiny shop owned by Japan. Cricket's travels took him to a tiny shop owned by Japan. Cricket's trap, the woodcarver. He sneaked under the door and saw old Geppetto working on a puppet that with one last dab of paint and decided to name him Pinocchio. Now all he had to do was to try him out. Geppetto took... It was about a guy who know, studied medicine, but he didn't want to study medicine. Yes. It's about this guy. He's studying to become a medicine man. And he has a like, revelation that his body is made of stars. Fellow who turned in, who discovered he was made of light. <laughs> um, mountain man lives in the cave, he came out of the cave <laughs> on a full moon and he was transformed into light. It was just a jumble of words, I kind of tell. I didn't really... Um, Pay much attention to what was in the left ear. There was a little squeaky chipmunky voice. Uh, Jiminy, uh, did I hear the name Jiminy yes. Cricket? Yes. Okay. Did you hear anything else? I heard a, I heard a narrator telling the story. Okay. Nothing unusual. No. Okay. Little, little voice of Geppetto okay. and Jiminy Cricket in the left ear, but it was really hard. Yeah. Okay. You would rewind and then go back. It's like. They try to grab your attention more on the left side. 